Hey there, today's travel tip video is going to show you my must have travel essentials for inside the airplane when you are sitting in your seat. This item is a travel essential because it helps airline passengers. It is a tray table cover with really deep pockets that you can store a long journal in. You can reach it easily while you're sitting in your airplane seat. It easily packs inside your personal item bag as well. I wanna thank The Trip Brand for sponsoring this video. I travel with their items and talk about them in every video, so every once in a while they sponsor one. But look at my National Park ones. They make the compression cubes that I talk about, but before every flight, this is the most important tip that I use with their products. Just choose one of their compression cubes. I usually use the small one and you're going to unzip the two zippers. And what you're going to do, this made me go viral on Instagram a couple of years ago, but you're gonna pack one shirt in there, two pairs of undies and a pair of socks, okay? And you're going to zip up the top one and then you zip the second one. A lot of people like to split these up per family member or per day of their outfits, and that compresses everything like a book. That's going to be packed in the bottom of your personal item bag, and if your bag does get checked, because there's no room for in the overhead bin for that suitcase and they lose your luggage, you have a shirt and some necessities to get you through a couple of days. So, and you'll never know that it's there because it's in the very bottom and it just blends in with the bottom of your bag. I do have a whole video on why I liked this brand the best. I've gotten that question a lot lately, which is interesting. One question you are going to have to ask yourself is, is this flight requiring this travel essential while you're in the airplane? If it is not, leave it at home. For a long flight, you might want to wear some things to give you a peace of mind that would protect your valuables. Here is one thing that you can wear, and this does not have to be under anything. You can just wear it, and if you go to the lavatory or fall asleep, your wallet, your passport, or a few credit cards, those are on your person. It says it's RFID blocking, and they do have the pockets that go all the way down if you need that. You can also wear the hidden money belt if you're going on a, a long haul flight. It goes under your clothes and you cannot wear it through airport security. But one thing I like about this one is that the buckle is embedded in the little hidden money belt. So it's not going to poke through your clothes like um, I wore it with a dress one time when I traveled alone and you could not even tell I was wearing it. There's also this one that I walk my dog with. It fits two passports standing up vertically, but it would also go under your clothes. You put them on like shorts. Um, it is stretchy and I'm a size 10 and the medium is very snug, um, but that's an idea if you want to just hide some things during a long flight, if you're going to fall asleep. One other item that you can get is this little hook that clips your zippers together. And that way, if you're sitting in your airplane seat and you've gone to the lavatory, that person's gonna stick out if it's gonna take them a while to get into your uh, bag. But I would just zip like the front large zipper if that's where your valuables are. And it just would delay the criminal from getting in your bags. And it comes in a set of four in different colors. One travel essential I have to decide between on most flights is an airplane blanket or a neck pillow. And if you have ever gone to a shower, like for a, wed a baby shower over the last 15 years and you've seen the new baby blankets, that this is what they feel like. They are so soft. I have taken this most often to soccer games when it's like in the 50s here in Houston. And then the neck pillow, I only make it a travel essential for flights that are over five hours because I cannot sleep if the flight is less than five hours. This is very easy to roll up and put back in its case. And it also has an easy to use clip to clip it to one of your bags for walking through the airport and getting off of the airplane. But one tip is, is that this is for very long necks because it's like wearing a neck brace. These 
connect over the headrest pieces that can go forward sometimes, but that keeps your head up when you're trying to sleep so it's not falling forward. It's the only one I recommend. You may want to pack a pouch for a flight, and I would do this for a long flight, especially an international destination trip. And I'm gonna have in there my AirPods, which I lost my AirPods case going to Kansas, so this is a new one with little seashells. And then I would also have my AirPod cord. It has very strong magnets, but if I fall asleep during a long flight and that AirPod falls out, it's easier to find or locate and it does not tangle. By now, most of you have your airlines app. In the airplane, they need the app to watch movies, entertainment, TV shows, and things like that. So this is a must have that folds flat and it lets you prop up an iPad, which is very heavy, or your phone so that you're hands-free while watching that on the tray table. If you do not want to use the phone flap, this is a great one. It's like a keychain, but it's like stainless steel, I think, but it's very slim line. It's a purse hanger. It can also be used as a phone prop. And then that little part flops down and then that flaps down. This is the newest pouch that I got. I would use it normally for like makeup, any toiletry items, but I usually use my toiletry kit, okay, for all my toiletries, but I thought I can use this now as my flight bag because it's so easy to get into. You can put your pins, your um, little essentials that you need so that you don't have to reach for your crossbody bag, for example, but I would normally use it as like a makeup case, but that's an idea for you. It's brand new and it has the handle and it matches all of my stuff, including another travel essential, which is my cord organizer case. If you don't carry a whole lot of electronics, then this is not for you. There are some other sizes that would be better for you, but my husband and I both have a case and I have a champagne colored one as well. The main travel tip is that if you have a cell phone charger in there, this cannot go into the belly of the airplane. This cannot go into the belly of the airplane because it has a lithium ion battery. So anything that charges an electronic cannot go in the belly of the airplane. So I would take that out and put it in my pouch or this new bag for the flight if I need it during the flight. But then I could also then put this in my personal item bag tucked away or in my carry-on suitcase if it would fit still. They know that I do travel with this tech bag organizer, but they allow me to talk about other items because they want to help you too. <laughs> They're not worried about it. This, if you do not travel with a lot of electronics, it's a roll up cord organizer. But what I would do is I would keep my AirPods in that pocket and then flap it in the airplane seat back pocket. And that way some of my cords, if I needed them mid flight were easily accessible. So if you only pack a few cords that might be helpful for you, here's the medium sized tech bag organizer. It's just a free for all, but it's very smooth, really good zippers like the other ones. A lot of people like the mesh part of it and it's a little squishable as well. So that would be the medium size. And then the one that I travel with and my husband who's a pilot travels with this one. I always travel with a fingernail file travel case. It's for these crystal or glass fingernail files, which I can't stand because they give make me ticklish. So I just use my regular emery boards, but I love them. And then an antibacterial wipe. Remember to clean off that tray table and the seat belt buckle. But one tip is that they're not really offering them to passengers anymore, but they're probably behind the flight attendant. So you might have to ask for them right when you get on board. Another essential that I travel with, and usually I think of it when I'm in the airplane because of all the glare and darkness and then the bright light coming through, it's an eyeglass cleaner, not for your sunglasses, especially if you've been around sunscreen, okay? Because it will ruin it. It was like one of the top gifts in 2022 because NASA, uses these, so they're kind of expensive, but there are these knockoff brands that come in like a set of eight or 10 maybe, and they do a pretty good job for a flight and they're disposable. All right, this 
I finally bought this like months ago. I think it was this fall and I used it and then it went out of stock. So I haven't told you about it, but it's very easy to use. It sits in the uh, window of the airplane seat, okay? And they will make you pull the cup out for takeoff and landing, just so you know. But it easily slides down in there because it's Velcro. And then you're going to just set it down in there. These little parts, hold on. These are what are gonna go in the airplane window, if that makes sense. They, like, they just slide down in there. It's very easy to use. And then your cups will go in there and it's really sturdy and you can put a phone in between if you need to. And then it just folds up really flat. And it does come with the case. You don't have to use it, but I like it. When I get to the boarding area to get onto the airplane, I'm sitting there at my gate with plenty of time to spare because I got to the airport two hours before the boarding time. I moved two things out of my liquids bag. My hand lotion, because a lot of times washing your hands in the airplane one time dries out and flakes off my skin. So I have my little, little lotion with gold bond for diabetics super thick no fragrance and then i will move an eye drop container they're individual vials um, and that's if you might need that okay i just move that when i'm at the boarding area and i'll put it in my pouch or in this little case now one thing that you may have noticed is that all of the major airlines have been really strict and they've been saying you only get two bags. If you're wearing a crossbody bag or a fanny pack, you've got to take them off for boarding. When you get inside the airplane, you can take it out, okay? But airlines get charged like tens of thousands of dollars if you're carrying too many bags. And did you hear that I think Finland Air or Finnish Air is going to start weighing passengers? I'm not sure how in the world that's going to work, but I thought of a travel hack on my last trip to Mexico. Sometimes I will have my cord organizer down in my backpack laid flat. Well, if they tell you that there's no room for, like you've gotta have that crossbody bag off on our flight, then you're going to move your bags that are inside your personal item bag, stand them vertically so that you can then stand your crossbody bag in vertically. You've got your compression cube, you've got your cord case or your pouch or this, and they say, nope, got to take off that crossbody bag. You're going to turn this vertical and then have your purse go in vertically as well instead of like that. It's going to help them fit inside and then it probably will not zip. But the requirement for your personal item bag is it does not have to zip. So if you need that, that's a travel hack to use. I've got a really good travel hack video, several of them recently for some reason, that a lot of people have watched. So I will make that pop up up here so you can watch it. And it's also going to be with everything else in the first comment. Another thing I thought of that you could use this new case for is for your medicine bottles, okay? I need to tell you real quick, if you are taking prescription medicine in pills in the United States, they are not going to need to see that or check that in airport security. You can put them in pill organizers, you can put them in baggies and dispense those all around your bags for carry-on bags or checked luggage. But if you're taking those prescription pills to another country, then I would keep those pills that are prescription in their original bottles. There's one tip that you can ask your pharmacist to put them in plasties, and that's those foil things that Sudafed used to come in or still does um, with the prescription on it. It's just an easier way to pack it. You can just fill it up <laughs> in there. Also, the prescription liquid medicine rule for carry-on bags is that that prescription medicine that's liquid needs to be screened separately than your regular liquids. And the prescription label needs to be on that bottle. For instance, I had my shampoo that's prescription for like um, psoriasis or the beginning of psoriasis. And it's in a regular large bottle. And I took it to Belgium. Well, I put it in the gray bin beside my other liquids bag, if that helps make sense. But especially in other countries, you've got to have that prescription label on. 
I thought this case would be helpful for people who do pack a lot of medicine because you don't want to lose your medicine. So if your carry-on suitcase gets checked last minute and then the airline does lose your bag, your essential medicine is lost with it. An easy travel hack would be to keep your medicine together in the top of your suitcase. And then if they do check it, you can say, oh wait, let me get my medicine out. And you've got it all together and you can put that in your purse item bag for the flight. One other item that I mentioned in my tiny equipment but huge travel hacks video were these ear plane earplugs. If you have any kind of pressure or pain in the descent or just when you're flying, I have heard from other passengers that these are amazing. And then I absolutely love wearing compression socks for over a three hour flight. I get the Dr. Scholl's brand from Amazon and they have been great. They look like business socks, but I don't know if they are really still available. So just talk to your doctor if you do have blood flow issues to find the right compression number that goes with yours or just try them out, but do not go to a drugstore. We got some a couple of years ago and they are, they are not compression. They, the top of the sock digs into your skin. I think it would cut off your blood flow, which is so dangerous. All right, I have a video to help you pack all of these essentials inside your backpack or your tote bag. And then I will have some other videos for you to teach you how to pack in a carry-on bag with some tips and tricks that I'll also list in the first comment. All right, thanks for your time. Have fun wherever you're going.